Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the official FIS press conference after the Team Sprint Competition Nordic Combine. Please welcome the bronze medalist from Germany, Team Austria, silver medalist, and the new world champions from France. We start with the Germans. Uh, Eric, the uh, unfortunate fall of Tino certainly compromised your race today. How was then the battle against Japan, the Japanese? Um, yeah, I think um, it was Tino Crash was in the last round of him, and um, so yeah. In this moment, um, I know that uh, was no chance for the gold and the silver medal, and so I focused on the uh, bronze medal, and so in the last round I have um, at the start a little gap to the Japanese and yeah and so Akito must um, uh, close the gap in the first uh, 100 meters and so I know that he was um, also in uh, yeah have much power and um, yeah on the last meters um, I come from behind and the uh, yeah, I come from behind and have uh, much more um, speed on the last meters, and so, yeah, I win the bronze medal for us. And a, a question to Tino. Uh, what do you think, or both of us, both of you, of this n new format in the World Championships? I mean, the Nordic Combine from Large Hill, the team sprint with Large Hill. Yeah, I think it's a great format. It's really a pleasure to compete in it. It's that hard. Damn, it's hard. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was lying down in the last lap, you noticed? Because I was so exhausted. <laughs> yeah, uh, only problem is it isn't really a sprint. Uh, but that's a linguistic problem. It's, yeah, but it's really, really nice. I, uh, and I'm, I'm glad it uh, came back to the calendar and is now part of the World Championships. It's great. Thank you. A question to um, Bernard and William. Um, once again, as the other day and the previous one, France wearing the gold medal. Are these guys really unbeatable? Yeah, they are really strong. The two guys, these are really strong athletes. And they are jumping really good and they are running really fast. So... It's really hard to beat them. <laughs> and I've got the same question um, about this, this new format. How did you find it? And uh, is there like, such a big difference from the other team sprint with, from Normal Hill? This today and the other one? Yeah, yeah you know, it's uh, always one round and you have to be really um, active in this one round. You have to, to focus on your speed and to focus on the other speed and the speed is higher than the average speed in a 10k or in the 5k team. Um, yeah, but anyway, you have to deal with the pain. It's going to be really hard, the fourth and fifth laps, lap. And yeah, you have to fight really hard. And that's, that's the game of the team sprint. How much, in your opinion, warmth and weather conditions today influenced the race? Yeah, of course. Um, I think you you needed a good material. And you, you needed good skis to be on metal course, and yeah, I think the conditions were okay. They were a little bit soft, but it was okay. Um, yeah, and warm it is. Yeah, when the sun is shining, you have <laughs> sometimes you think your head is exploding, but when you are attacking a hill, uphill or something, but it's okay. But it's really nice for the sportsman heart. It's good when it's nice weather. Thank you. You guys are the first ever world champions in this format, the new format. How do you feel? Oh, well, we feel great. <laughs> great to be 
on the first place. Uh, we had a lot of pleasure, I think, today on the race. Beautiful weather, beautiful competition, and uh, really interesting. And uh, since uh, last year when they started the first team sprint, we've always been on the podium, so we really wanted to be on the podium. But first place is awesome for us today. <laughs> what you thought when you saw Sebastien uh, first in the last exchange? It was your turn, what, what you were thinking at that moment? I was thinking I have to go for it. I have to go really fast at the beginning and uh, go for it. And uh, I knew that we had, we had the same skis and same glide, really good glide. And uh, I knew that if I could make it with maybe 10 seconds ahead of, uh, of Austria, then we'll be easy uh, on the last downhill. And I had a lot of fun. Having the flag in the last line and, wait, and Sebastian waiting for me was great. Seeing how uh, these World Championships uh, have gone for you uh, in order to combine, what do you think already about the Olympics next year? You, for me? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, the preparation we did for these championships worked very well. We were a little bit tired, maybe in January. But uh, our, our shape went really up really fast for, for February. And we, I think we're going to try to do the same thing for, for next year. Any open question in English? Just here. Jason, you're the first one to win three gold medals in Nordic combined. How does that make you feel? <laughs> well, great. Well, we have to say that we have four competitions now. And we used to have less before, it, but it uh, feels awesome. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. It, it, <clears throat> it turns out that the French team is the dominating team, actually, in, cross, in Nordic combined. Um, what's the factor? What's the reason for that? Yeah, I think uh, we were dominating uh, for these World Championships. Uh, because we were very good prepared, uh, we were ready to to fight, and um, I think it was uh, something we, we comes from two, three or four years ago. Because we are uh, always be on fourth place <coughs> in team events in the World Championships 2009, 2011, and the Olympic Games. So we were really focused on the World Championship here to to get a medal and. Uh, that's maybe what is making us strong. Any other question? Just following up on, you guys said uh, January you retired. Did you take time off uh, before the World Championships? Or what will you do? What did you do differently or special that helped you here? Stop circuit. Sorry. It's top circuit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we just uh, trained a little bit harder in January. Even if we were more tired, and uh, it it felt uh, then we took a two week break uh, after Sochi, the World Cup in Sochi, and then the, we recovered pretty fast and with a nice training camp, and then we, we were in good shape here. Yeah, it worked. So <laughs> we'll try to do it next year. Any other question in English? Okay. Thank you very much. Congratulations.